So I'm up here at Powder Mountain. It's a ski resort in Northern Utah. And I saw an event pop up on Facebook. Yeah, I know I still use Facebook. Sorry. Anyway, I saw an event pop up about these moon bikes. Right. I'll get up close and personal here in just a sec. It got kind of busy. There were several sitting around, but uh, we're gonna take them out for a ride, see how they go. Uh, but I saw these things pop up like last year on social media and I just, once I saw an opportunity to ride one, I oh, yeah, had to check it out. It's definitely different than riding an e-bike. Feels more like a wave runner. Tanner, you've ridden uh, like timber sleds, right? Yeah. Is it anything like that? Yeah. I mean, it's hard to tell because this is packed snow. Yeah. So if it was a little deeper, honestly, it's usually easier and more, because like right now, if you get a little bit off, it kind of bucks you back because the snow's packed. So I bet you in four, five, six inches of snow, they're right. We're going to give them a shot. This guy's got it down. I'll see if I can snag one of the moon bike guys and get some stats. I heard on one battery about an hour and a half worth of riding and that's full throttle on two you can actually do two batteries on these things and the price points around eighty five hundred dollars i'm ready for the rundown sweet yeah you guys signed all the waivers yep. and everything beautiful yeah. all right super simple guys i'll uh i'll run you through it so it's a thumb throttle this is your go button it will slow down when you let go of it but there's a brake in case you need it there's a reverse button here you just click it down if you want to go in reverse, these are your speed settings. I'll, I'll keep you guys in medium for now. If you want to go a little faster, kick it into high. If you want to go a little slower, kick it into low. Um, but the biggest thing is keeping your weight pretty far forward on the seat because all the weight's in the back. Okay. Helps control it. And then you'll be leaning to turn. So a lot of like using your hips to kind of lean one way and counter steering with your upper body. Okay. Um, when you want to U-turn, don't be afraid to like literally put your foot on the ground and like put some weight on it and kind of carve into that. Yeah, yeah. They're super lightweight, so they're easy to move around but you'll see, you'll, you'll kind of get used to the feel as you go. Cool. That's it. All right. Gotcha. I'll f follow you. All right. First ride on the moon bike. It's uh, definitely different than a Super 73 or my Teleria. You really got to use your weight. We'll try up here leaning into it <laughs> yeah you gotta really lean into it that is different this thing rips though I've been wanting to try one of these for a long time well ever since I saw them last year I'll try to get a little more proficient There's like a, oh, there you go. You don't really need to use the brake. They slow down quite a bit on their own. This is rad. Cause I heard the guys say they go for about 8,900. Feels different though. Kind of wish there was some powder to try it out on. That's cool. It's different. Feels like the kind of the control of a wave runner. Yeah, kind of like where you kind of start out a little, and yeah. and they're tuned super slow. Where like on a snowmobile, if you juice it, dude, it'll just go. Yeah, this has a gradual punch. Yeah. Uh, medium. I'll switch to high. Really? Try it. It's it's marginally different. Got it. I mean, the top end's faster, but I like I do like that the throttle is gradual. So I'm on high mode right now. There's actually three settings. There's an eco mode, a normal mode, and a sport mode. And then within that, it looks like there's three settings as well. But yeah, you really get more control the faster you go. It doesn't feel too hard to like, or it seems kind of hard to tip it. I'm gonna hit this little kicker right here that I don't know if I can line up on it. 
Oh, that guy just hit it. <laughs> Got a little front end air there. There's probably other people that want to try this thing. I was hoping there's more of a route. There's Tanner on the red one. Feels a lot like, or kind of looks like those uh, speeders on Star Wars. Takes a couple turns to get used to, but not bad. I'm gonna hit this little kicker again. Oh. <laughs> Tanner. Hey Tanner, I'm gonna do yeah. one more rip. About halfway down, there's like a little kicker. Okay. <laughs> I probably didn't get as much air as I thought. It took about five minutes to get used to, if that. But yeah, it's a little bit harder to maneuver on packed snow. Top three questions, uh, powder. Uh, it handles just about everything going downhill, uphill, 25% grade, 30% grade, depending on depth and base. Um, battery life, you get an hour and a half per battery and that's all out in sport high. And then if you want to kick it down a normal eco, you can go even further. Uh, you can also fit two batteries inside the battery box. So if you really want to go for a long day, three hours all out riding, not including your you know, chill brakes or anything like that, um, you can definitely get it. Uh, third question that's most asked, what is the maintenance? Um, maintenance is almost zero. Uh, make sure your brake is working. Make sure the battery is charged. Whenever you store it, bring the battery inside. It's a 30 pound battery, it's very easy to do. Um, yeah, that's the rundown, man. Super easy. Yeah, I saw online that it has like a heated battery compartment, kind of like it does. Tesla heats theirs. Yep, yep. So uh, if the key is in the on position, and even the main power switch is in off, the, power, the battery powers the insulation pads that are inside of the battery box. It uses less than 1% of the battery and will keep it above freezing. Price point under 10 grand? Under 10 grand shipped. Nice. Yep. And they're ready now. Awesome. Where are you guys based out of? We're based in Boulder. Yeah, okay. North America office is in Boulder, Colorado. Sweet. Yeah, I saw these come onto the market winter last year, right? They're pretty new. They're pretty new, yeah. So we entered the U.S. market last winter at the end of the season, um, and this is our first full year. So we've been welcome to the open arms for sure. All right, so getting up close and personal with this one. I don't know why it's not part of the demo, but I think black looks pretty cool. Actually, if I was gonna get one, I think I'd do the white. I think the white looks awesome. Plus the snow theme. 3.5 kilowatt motor, what I just found out. Regenerative braking, it's a, uh, uh, single drive, no no belt drive or anything like that. Um, kind of up close on the controls. Thumb throttle, we got three different modes. Um, when you're in your different torque modes, which is what the guy from Moonbike kind of said, that the, these modes control your torque curves, but high, medium, low, plus you got to reverse and forward. So if you get in a sticky situation, you might be able to back out of it. But yeah, sport, normal, eco. I think this is your battery indicator here. Set on sport mode, there isn't regenerative braking. You're gonna have a quicker speed off the line, uh, but you'll coast a little bit more. One thing I noticed is that it does have this handbrake here, but I didn't really need it because in normal mode with that regenerative braking, slowed down quite a bit. So that's nice because, you know, new experience. Didn't have to worry about brake management. Ignition key, is that a breaker? Oh, yeah. I know they have like this too, like they have a, a leash. So if you fall off, it'll kill the power. Pulls that out. Um, I asked him about customization. He said Moonbike doesn't encourage it, but as a individual, there are opportunities. 
So you could probably get two people on here. Might be difficult. And, but uh, we just watched the ski patrol guy go way up that mountain on it. So they got the power to do it. I think he's doing better. I didn't watch him last time though. It's about the same speed, but oh. it's probably a little more comfortable. Got you. I'm here with the Powder Mountain Ski Patrol. He's already ridden one of these moon bikes. Do you see any future of these being like a ski patrol tool? I don't know. If they're reliable and they can get around e the mountain easily, then sure, why not? Yeah. Just like getting to the scene of an accident real quick and providing some medical help, but probably not hauling people off the mountain, right? Probably not hauling people off the mountain, but moving around the mountain. We've got some spring skiing going on, but we've had an epic snow year, so there's still a ton of snow up here. Perfect day for one of these demos. A lot of interest. Got some free hot dogs going on, which is huge at a ski resort because if you've ever bought food at a ski resort, it's super expensive. But get a couple more shots of these guys riding and we'll get out of here. Oh yeah, they weigh 190 pounds with batteries. So pretty light for cruising on snow. I think that's kind of an important spec because uh, heavy stuff in snow doesn't always go together unless you're a moose. Got any final thoughts, Tanner? Pretty fun. <laughs> Want to try in deep snow? Yeah. Uh, that's good.